I study parent-child relationships and how those relate to adolescent physical health and well-being, as well as early adolescent substance use. We just had a study come out in the Journal of Research on Adolescence, which we're very excited about. And this study looked at daily parent-child relationships and how experiences that kids have with their parents are related to their physical health, so things like somatic symptoms, if they have stomach aches, headaches, as well as how experiences with parents relate to kids' stress-related physiology, so how their um, body is dealing with stress, if they're having healthy patterns of a hormone called cortisol that we know is an indicator of healthy stress responses. The first thing we found was that negative experiences with parents seem to be more strongly linked to adolescent health and well-being than positive experiences. So we found a little bit of association with positive experiences, but mostly these negative experiences with parents, like kids feeling criticized or parents being angry with them, those seem more closely linked to their physical health and their stress-related physiology. Interestingly, we found that on days when kids have more negative experiences with their parents than usual, those kids experience more physical health problems like stomach aches, colds, and flus. And they also have um, suboptimal functioning of their stress response system. So we saw really unhealthy pat patterns of cortisol in these kids as well. Especially for girls, girls seem more sensitive to these negative experiences with, mother with parents and especially interactions with mothers. I really come to this work from a prevention perspective. So we're really interested in understanding factors that might make it more likely that kids later develop health problems or addictions or things like that. And from a prevention perspective, if you understand risk and protective factors, you're in a better position to design interventions that might prevent some of these problems before they get really entrenched.